I'm Hans with PayRange, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Blue Key Pulse device into a laundry machine. Now this is a Speed Queen washer. It's got the Alliance ACA controller inside, and we have got our laundry kit. So to get started, before we open up the machine, we want to make sure that we power it down first. Uh, but if you are unable to easily unplug your machine, be sure to go back and shut off the electrical panel and be sure that before you open up the panel to get to any electronics inside the machine there is no power to the machine. So when you're sure there's no power we'll open it up and get started. So our first connection would be this white seven pin connector and there is a white seven pin connection on the board that is unused and ready to plug in. Once that's plugged in find the red and white wires that are labeled power, pin one red, pin two white, and they've got a two pin black connector on the end, and there is a two pin black connection on the board that is also unused that we can plug into, and that provides power to the PCBA module and the blue key device. And then the longest wires here are the white and yellow wires, and they are labeled coin. Now for these, we need to find the coin drop connection inside the machine and it's a little bit further back here where the service switch is that pops out when you open the panel. So we'll want to reach into this connection and unplug it and go ahead and plug the pay range harness right in line with it. And what this does is it allows you to accurately monitor the coins that your customers are putting into your machine. And finally, the last connection left open is coming off of the A harness, and this goes to the Blue Key Pulse device. And it's very easy to plug in, just a nice little click. And once we have everything all connected up, we want to make sure that the Blue Key device is securely placed inside the machine. These machines vibrate around a lot, and we don't want it rattling around in there. So we use the enclosed self adhesive Velcro bits and stick them on the back and then we'll stick it right inside of the machine. And now that we have everything secured and plugged in, we have some excess wires hanging out that we want to make sure are not able to get snagged on anything. So just bunch them up neatly in your hand. Just fold them up together. The ones going back to the coin switch. And there we go, the rest of the A harness. And take the second zip tie, wrap it around here. So these wires are nice and neat inside the machine. And that is all the connections that we need to do for this install. Now before we close the panel up, we want to power the machine on and make sure that everything is plugged in correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in now. And what we should see right away is there is a green indicator light on the PCBA module that should come on and the blue key pulse should have a solid blue light on. If you see both of those lights, that means your installation is done correctly. And before we shut the machine down, it's usually a good idea to turn the machine off again so that we don't accidentally short circuit anything when we're closing the panel. So I'm gonna power the machine down once more, and then we're ready to close it on up and finish our setup using the PayRange mobile app and test our device. <laughs> 